The dark web and the underlying dark nets provide high levels of anonymity and security due to their architecture and the reason the dark web initially designed for. As it was previously mentioned, the dark web was developed to provide anonymity and safety to spies and field agents. Nevertheless, this philosophy and the actual architecture of the darkness provided a safe environment for criminal activities. It is highly difficult to accurately classify the sites in the different darknets due to the structure. Most studies have been focused on Tor as it is the most well-known and used darknet. According to a report published by Intelliag, there were more legal websites than illegal in Tor under the UK and USA. These findings were based on machine learning algorithms which were responsible for the classification of the data. While based on manual classification of thousand websites, the research found that 68% of the sites contained illegal material. To reach to this conclusion, almost 15,000 websites in total were analyzed. Due to the inherent properties of Tor, a quantitative analysis of the use of Tor to establish a ratio between the legal and the illicit use is very challenging. There is no academic agreement on this question and no hard numbers are presented. As it is highly difficult to accurately classify the content of the dark web, it is certain that two generic categories of actors visited, the non-criminal and criminal. The double nature of the dark web where legitimate activities take place in parallel to criminal ones requires a balance between individual freedoms such as freedom of speech and the need to fight crime. We can therefore see the dark web used for several legitimate purposes as an example of the good, while for its criminal purposes both as the bad and the ugly examples of the digital world of social media and although based on digital communication and digital transactions, it may have a strong negative effect on the physical public safety and security. Okay, let me talk about the users of the dark web. The darknets and the software used to grant access provide great anonymity and communication. None of the darknets are created to facilitate illicit actions but to provide secure communication between legit users. For example, field operatives, journalists and whistleblowers. Nevertheless, technology itself is agnostic in terms of usage and depends on the type of person using it and for which purpose. Criminal actors took advantage of the safe passage this technology offers and therefore users of the dark web are classified into two major categories. The non-criminal users utilizing the anonymity and security advantages of dark web, the criminal actors carrying out illegal activities facilitated by the dark web environment. Legitimate users move from the surface to the dark web to protect their identities, sources and privacy through the anonymity, security and safety provided in the dark web environment. Whereas, at the same time, criminals take the same advantages as weapons to act illegally in the same space. There are many groups of legitimate users from different sectors, including those for policing the criminality who become users of the dark web for specific purposes. By taking advantage of its features, Normal people use the dark web for various reasons, but mainly to browse the web without being tracked. Those protecting their privacy to be exposed in various risks. 
The tour project lists some of these reasons below and recommend users to make use of Tor Browser in order to protect their privacy from personal data, secure and private communication with organizations which are giving away personal information and mailing lists to third parties, to protect their current geolocation through revealing their IP, to have access to sensitive research topics for which in some countries is restricted in the surface web, or to have access to the internet and social media platforms such as Facebook or YouTube that from time to time are being blocked by the governments in some countries, to protect their privacy from online surveillance and monitoring by making it extremely difficult for an observer to correlate the visiting sites with the physical world identity.